More than 400,000 people are expected to make their way to the Uptown Art Fair this weekend. Yeah, it's 52 years and going strong. Rachel Slavic joins us now live from Hennepin Avenue with more on what there's to see and do there today. Rachel. Hi, Rach. Hi, Mike and Natalie. Uh, a little quiet right now. The artists are just starting to show up to open their booths for what will be a very busy day for the 52nd annual Uptown Art Fair. And as you know, if you've ever been here, there is art in sculptures, in canoe paddles, woodwork, jewelry, paintings, everything you can think of. We have uh, Maude here to talk to us about uh, some of the fresh and new things that are happening this year. After 52 years, you always have to come up with something new. So what are some things that people can expect this year? Well, you do. Um, we're really excited. We're adding a new component to our very popular culinary stage. This afternoon at 4, 4.30, two home cooks are competing against each other who uh, submitted uh, applications online in a contest. They are being mentored by chefs from Ocean Air and cooking a seafood dish. I think that is very cool. I cannot wait to see what they come up with. Yeah, very risky because sometimes seafood can go a little, yeah. Some other cool things that kids can actually take part in. I want to show these little clay sculptures here. Tell me about that and how kids can get involved today. So that's a family imagination station um, sponsored by Northern Clay Center. And um, throughout the regular hours of the art fair, not only kids, but people of all ages can create um, sculptures. Our theme this year is summer adventure. So it has to do with canoeing and jeeping and swimming and things like that. And then the kids, uh, people create the piece. Northern Clay fires it, and then you can go pick it up for free after September 2nd. Oh, wow, that's so, so neat. These are some of the examples of that. Very cool. And I want to point out this um, paint bucket. If you look closely, all this art is made with little dots. It's the commemorative artist. Tell me how people can get involved with these um, paint cans. Okay. That's a new project that we started this year called Canvas Uptown. You know, one of the most iconic things about the art fair is the... Uh, 30-foot paint can standing right in front of you there. So we started this year getting businesses and organizations more involved in learning about the art fair, promoting it, and learning about Uptown. So we have uh, about 90 businesses who created 182 cans that are all over, and we have an online auction. Very cool. So they can bring them home. So if you want to come down to the art fair, kicks off today at 10, goes till 8 tomorrow from 10 till 5. And something really cool, you can um, use Metro Transit, go online, print out a free pass, and um, easy way to get down here. Yeah, because it is not always easy to get around uptown, no. especially with closed streets. It's a great idea. With 400,000 people. Not. All right, Rach, thank you. That's pretty cool. I wish I was artistic. You know, when you see stuff like that, it well, makes you want to pick up a, a paintbrush. You can just buy it. Yeah, yeah you can. Like, please, just <laughs> I will buy go it. Step support. away from the paintbrush. <laughs> I should. You're right. Hey, even if